Hatzor. Lord of mercy. Which island is this? I know you can't find any. Come, come, come back to St. John. Come. Yeah, 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 you're the dead last to find any. You couldn't find any cup. It's not my fault. Take it out. Come, come with the other knee. One, one knee can work. Just coming for my assignment and I am exhausted. Exhausted. Super hot. I look like a mess, watch it. Mm -mm. Not cute. Oy, but I mean look at look at Jamaica. Anyways. No man. AC. AC me. Alright, so I'm in my car now. Um my phone is literally dying. But I just I was at my assignment and right as it was ending i was like why don't i document some of these moments where i have these somewhat of an exciting assignments um and today the ministry of health was launching caribbean moves um which is all targeted to health and wellness and i was covering so i decided to you know get a little snippet here up there sometimes my assignments are very long sometimes it's very short Sometimes I have really exciting assignments um, and it's really good to see all of Jamaica just well not all of Jamaica but you know parts of Jamaica both private and public just come together and this was one of those moments where I got to witness not just Jamaica but just the Caribbean in general all coming together to help spread the awareness about the dangers of um, non-communicable diseases and just the importance of taking care of yourself and your body so that was really good today <coughs> We are late for um, the beach cleanup. I have my ID on because I'm also going to be literally covering um, them, meaning writing an article about it. Um, this is what I have on, and my mother is also here with me. guys so we're taking a break and it is super hot my god it's crazy hot we're probably going to they want to go down to the beach and they, they, apparently there's another section of the beach that needs to be cleaned um so they want to go down there and i'm just thinking at this point i just need to go in the water <laughs> it is so hot it's ridiculous it is actually and it's my phone was just alarming. It's only eight o'clock right now. Um, I'm actually heading out to the supermarket, the wholesale, um, the mall, because I need to get stuff. I'm one of those late persons who only have Saturday to prepare for the storm that's coming Saturday. I'm going to the hairdresser guys, even though I'm like over and 
Guys, this is Sidda by Yash with Tom Lighter Day right here, okay? Yeah, she's the gold. <laughs> And this is this is her y'all boss babe right here <laughs> but it's nice I got one of her face photos today and also the oh it's in, it's packaged already but also the brush yes thank you so much yes look how cute and would you like I feel rich like you know I'm finally looking like someone's child again um I'm currently I'm kind of spring. I just came from Le Champs Cosmetics. Her bag, her packaging, her whole place is just bougie. And I just I love that. I love her vibe, her aesthetic. I actually met her um when I was working at CVM and she sent she brought some samples with her and she she gave me a lipstick. It's like it's actually a lipstick, but it kind of gives you like a lip gloss vibes and i've had that lipstick since 2020 and it's been bomb it's been so bomb um so i have never forgotten her and i think what stood out for her the most for me was the fact that she's actually she actually produces vegan um makeup and that's just that's amazing to me especially because i have like sensitive skin being able to kind of use like vegan makeup is a big deal so i went and i got like a face powder and also some brushes What's up guys, it is Sunday, September, I don't even know. But yeah, so it's about after 12 nor to 1 or after 1 p.m. Um, and I was just here getting into the word. I've been in the book of Hebrews for a little bit now. Chapter 11 is specifically talking about faith in action. Um, and in chapter 12 continues in faith but also goes into God um, disciplining his children and all of that and it's been so good so far it's been so power packed I don't know why like I feel like there's certain books of the Bible that I've gone through like so many times like the book of John the book of Matthew like the book of Romans those books is just you just can't read it once and every time you read it it's like you're reading it for the first time again um, but I'm trying to go through like the books of the Bible that I don't read that often. And the book of Hebrews happened to be one of those books of the Bible. I feel like I'm in a season right now where I really, really need to, I want to say maintain my faith. I want to say maintain my faith. I mean like when I'm believing God for something that seems like it's hard to achieve or like impossible to achieve um you know you have like today you go to church and it feels as if that yeah you know you got this like god's got this i should say and then um throughout the week that that faith you had that was like at a 10 begins to come down to like seven then it comes down to a five and then by the time you reach four you're just like fighting to keep the faith going and i think that's a big thing for me learning how to maintain that high level of faith and even though the mustard seed faith still works um doesn't necessarily mean like you know your faith have to stay at mustard seed um so that is one pointer i was making note of to myself um especially in verse six where it says without faith is impossible to please god because because anyone who comes to him must 
believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him um and basically that is also saying that listen you can't be praying to god and asking god for stuff and you don't even believe that he can bring it through you don't even believe in him like it just does not make any sense <laughs> um and so it's all about also maintaining that faith throughout your journey and your relationship with christ as well and in chapter 11 goes into different examples of different people in the bible you know like abraham and, and you know how he had faith and god told him to you know um sacrifice his son and to go into a foreign country and you know it speak of enoch and abel and on jacob isaac and all these other um men of god who showed great faith um, by following through on an instruction that God gave them um, or you know even if God didn't give them a specific like how to because of the vision that God placed in their heart they went through and followed through and God came through for them um, and so that's very encouraging you know because faith as it says in verse 1 of verse 11 Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. And a lot of times we are all believing for something that we can't see yet, that you know we're only hoping for. And it may seem scary and impossible to achieve, but like honestly, if, if it's God given, if it's God driven, um, if this is the will of God for your life, then He will bring it through. Um, and so it's really important to not just maintain the faith not just have the faith then maintain the faith but to also do the faith if that makes sense um and that would speak to faith being in action because a lot of times you know because we don't see something working out one way we choose to stand still and wait until god gives us a word and i've been so guilty of that a lot of times but another main thing i see from the scripture is that you have to know when to step out in faith and make that step. And of course, you're going to do that with wisdom. Um, but at the same time, you have to have the courage, the hope, the belief to step out in faith and to know that God is not going to leave you there hanging. So that's the main thing um, that I've gotten out of the book of Hebrews. It's a really power-packed um, book. Like There's so many things it talks about. It talks about Jesus and the importance of him being our high priest and what exactly that means for us as Christians and just so many different things. Um, so I really encourage you guys to get into the book of Hebrews if you haven't as it. We're being adventurous. Right, Jenny? This is my niece, everybody. She's staying with us for the... Wow, well, where am I pointing? But she's staying with us for a while. It is after three on September 25th, Sunday. And so far, this is what we're looking like in Port Moore. The rain has been on and off. Um, it was really, really heavy in the morning and then it paused for like two hours and it just started coming back down. So, so far, so good. Nobody now washed with hand, be to God. I, I low key like this weather, you know, because it's seems rub up in my sweater because I am that extra Jamaican. And, uh, you know, the place is cool. It's not hot, you know, me, it's not hot, you know, you just lie down in your bed. You feel like a pit up up on the rooftop, and you just. The amount of the way breeds from last night, you know. <laughs> well, not me, you know, I'm going to put a ring on it first. But, yeah, man, so. Like I, I really like this weather. Um, I don't, I don't like this weather when I have to work though. That's one thing, not when I have to work. So let me know if you like when I film vlogs like this, where I just you know take you on little parts of my life, um, or if you prefer the more sit down and talk, you know, on a specific topic type of videos. I'm trying to do a mixture of both, um, because me coming back to YouTube, you know, is a ma major thing for me, and I want to have fun with it. I'm not necessarily intending to be an influencer or anything like that, because that's just. I don't know that's not my intention this is really just me um, just enjoying creating and encouraging other people in Christ so that's why I do what I do and I want to have fun with it so let me know if this is you know 
if you guys like to see you know these types of videos i'm gonna close out the vlog right here um and you know continue doing some work thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed it and like i said earlier if you like this type of content then please comment below and let me know that so that i can keep making them um and also if you have any requests like if you want me to talk on something specific also feel free to let me know as well so i'm gonna tune out right here um remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you'd like to see more videos from me um if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and yeah feel free to say something nice about it in the comments thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video there's a dog hollering next door anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video this is chanela and i'm tuning out of saint catherine jamaica bye